Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to Aperture 1.5 changelog video. In this update, a handful of bugs were fixed, and a couple of powerful features were added. Let's get into it. Most of the new features concern modifiers. First, remap a modifier was added. It allows you to remap the timeline of a camera fixture that is being applied. How it works is you need to provide either a math expression, or a curve using keyframes, which returns a value between 0 and 1, where 0 is the beginning of the fixture, and 1 is the end. This way, you can either smooth out the path trajectory, by changing the way value is calculated, or scratch back and forth on the path. It works with all of the fixture types, excluding idle and null fixtures, for obvious reasons. You can check full documentation about math expressions for this modifier by clicking this question mark button. Basically, experiment with this one. Next we have an exciting addition to modifier envelopes feature. Instead of using simple fade in and out control, now, you can also use keyframes as well. This option allows you to control modifiers more precisely. To enable keyframes, toggle the enable keyframes toggle. Similar to the remapper modifier, 0 means that modifier is turned off, and 1 is modifier is turned on. Keyframe values between 0 and 1, will yield a blend value between turned off, and turned on values. Play around with it. And the final modifier tweak is a new context menu in the look modifier, when look at block option is enabled. What these menu options allow you to do, is to fill the block coordinates by looking at an entity or a block, instead of filling these manually. In order to use these, you have to temporarily disable the sync mode, then use the flight mode to look at the block, or entity you want to look at, and it will fill an XYZ position automatically. The difference between the get entity slash block, and get centered block, is that centered block is going to fill the XYZ position at the block's center you looked at. Meanwhile, the entity slash block option is going to get either the XYZ coordinates, which intersect at one of the sides of entity's hitbox, or at block surface, rather than the center. The next feature is a new flight mode. When you toggle between flight modes, which is V key, you'll encounter a new flight mode, which is called the orbit flight mode. The way it works is similar to vertical flight mode, however, you can hold alt, and change the distance, with the mouse wheel, of how far away you are from the origin point you want to zoom out. Afterwards, if you'll move the camera around, you would see that the camera moves around the initial point, from which we zoomed out. This is very useful for finding a perfect camera angle around given point, as it allows you to preserve the distance from the origin point. You can also hold ALT, while pressing V, to switch to the previous flight mode. And the final feature is this reverse button, in the dolly fixture panel. Its feature is to swap the position and the distance, so you could quickly change from movement inwards, and outwards. That's pretty much it, of course, those features are not the only things that are in this update, however, the rest are minor boring tweaks and bug fixes, that don't worth your attention. If you're still interested, feel free to check out the full change log in the description. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.